Hello and welcome to The Pretentious Film Majors. I'm Justin Allison and I'm here with Michaela Murray and we're talking about the new movie, Steve Jobs. I hear you've been worse than usual this morning. I didn't think that was possible. It's a system error. Fix it. Fix it? Yeah. We're not a pit crew at Daytona. This can't be fixed in seconds. You didn't have seconds. You had three weeks. The universe was created in a third of that time. Well, someday you'll have to tell us how you did it. So, I've been really excited for this movie. I love anything related to Steve Jobs. I've read the Walter Isaacson biography this is based on really excited so I kind of came in with that what were you kind of coming in with as far as baggage um I was coming in with pretty limited knowledge I knew what everybody knew about Steve Jobs and I knew that it was going to be a different take on it than the previous biopic starring Ashton Kutcher mm -hmm. so I was excited for that because I really like Michael Fassbender and I really like Danny Boyle and I can go either way on Aaron Sorkin but I kind of went in with those expectations okay cool yeah as far as the the previous Jobs movie I, it wasn't a good movie. I liked it just because I am interested in the in the subject, um, and that but that was more of a fact dump. They're trying to hit a bunch of points in his life, whereas this one used the framing of the different product launches to be more about more about really his relationship with his family, with and his, his family, with people around him, mm -hmm. which. Like I said, I can go either way on Sorkin, and for this script, I thought it was a lot of Sorkin. That's not to say he did a bad job, but right. you could feel his fingerprints all over it. And with other projects like The Social Network, which was also uh, an adapted biopic, yeah. I think Fincher did a better job of kind of making it a Fincher film rather than a Sorkin film. And with um, this one, to Sorkin's credit, I think he is the only person who could have pulled off the product launch framing. Yeah, and, and I think, I agree he's the only one who can pull that off, but I also say, like, the reason it feels like a Sorkin movie is because, well, it's a Sorkin movie. <laughs> like, he wrote it, and uh, yeah, you're right, he had a lot more freedom than he has in the past, and sometimes that can be, but I, I didn't find that to be an issue. I think, honestly, I think we can just give him the Best Adapted Screenplay Award I right now. I think if we give him the Best Adapted Screenplay Award, that's like giving Aaron Sorkin the You Do You Award, because it's like, Aaron Sorkin, you did yourself, Here's for not going outside of your comfort zone. <laughs> well, I, not to say it's a bad right. script. I liked the script and right. I enjoyed the movie. It was just, after a while, I was like, I need to take a water break from all these walk-in talks because they're exhausting me. <laughs> yeah, and I, well, I do think there are elements in there that, because without knowing Sorkin, I don't think you can know what's outside of his comfort zone or not, but it, it as far as the style, no, it's not a different style. But do, I don't know, do we say that about Fincher? Do we say, oh, I wish Fincher did a not Fincher movie? No, I think it, it must be a personal preference thing for me a little bit, as sure. it is for everybody to some degree. But, like, that was the one element that was kind of grating on me because, like, having seen, like, the newsroom, which I think is, like, lower Sorkin, and then, like, again, the social network, which I think is higher Sorkin, I think this fell somewhere lower on the range just for me personally. Right, cool. So then one of the interesting things this movie does that I haven't seen done before is – with the three product launches, it progresses from starting being shot in 16 millimeter film, then 35 millimeter film, and then digital. And it's really apparent, but I think it totally works. What are your thoughts? I loved it. I think um, for the past few years, the Best Director Award has been going to really technical directors. Um, last year, it went to Birdman Director in Aritu. Um, and the year before, it was Life of Pi. That may have been two years before, but it's been going yeah, to really yeah, technical right. directors. Um, I think that this is not as technical of film as any of those, and Ridley Scott's probably going to have a really good chance with The Martian because that is so technical, but I think this was such an interesting technical choice, and the performances in this film really back it up, so I think it gives Danny Boyle a good shot at Best Director this year. Yeah, definitely, and I, I like how the... If it, when you, looking at the progression from the way it was shot, like when they flash back to early, you can see the difference. Yeah. And you see it, it's like a progression in his life. It's a pr progression in the world's technology from analog to digital. And, and that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. um, perf th this movie is Oscar Beatty in yeah. the way it has performances. Like it's designed, like they are definitely looking for that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think Fassbender has a really good chance. I don't think Kate Winslet <laughs> has a good chance. Her accent was grating. It 
was so variable throughout the film because it started so weak and then it just got stronger and stronger as if she had moved back to the Soviet Union <laughs> or wherever she was supposed to be from and like the interim that we didn't see. It was ridiculous yeah. and it, that was the one element that really took me out of the film. Yeah, I, I think overall I really enjoyed the movie because I, I, I do like the Sorkin-esque part of it and I'm just interested in the subject matter so it was kind of hard for me not to really enjoy it. But I think it was really well put together. I think it's going to now have a lot of awards. I think it deserves it. It didn't do well at the box office, but I think it'll make up for that in awards. Um, so for me, on the pretentious film majors five-star rating, I give it a 4.5. What about you, Michaela? I would give it a 3.5 just because I kind of fell off towards the end, and I also personally just didn't connect with some of the family elements that were also injected into the script. I think it's nice middle ground. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching. For more on the pretentious film majors, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.